Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we're delving into our October journey with Kony from the Yield Max, KLIP, CraneShares China Internet and Covered Call Strategy ETF, and QQQY, the NASDAQ 100 Enhanced Option Income ETF. We'll also be discussing the combined earnings from these investments. Together with Ms. Tesla, this month brought us a total of $26,500 in dividends, and I generated an additional $10,480 through covered calls and covered puts. We're running this experiment for the next five months to determine if it's time for an early retirement funded by dividends. We're keen to analyze whether this financial success is purely a matter of luck or a sustainable path towards early retirement, relying on dividends, covered calls, and covered puts. Robinhood came through with a total payout of $36,500 this month, encompassing both dividends and earnings from covered calls and covered puts. Given our modest lifestyle, we find that $10,000 per month is more than sufficient. This leaves us with an extra $26,500 for reinvestment and for enjoying life, including travel and leisure. Our earnings break down as follows, $19,922 from Kony, $3,056 from QQQY, and $2,166 from Clip. The SANP is showing positive momentum, which is benefiting most of the yield max ETFs in our portfolio. Stocks trading above their 50-day moving average are demonstrating strong performance. Stay tuned for further updates as our financial journey unfolds. Please show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing for more valuable financial insights. Until next time. Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we're delving into our October journey with Kony from the Yield Max, KLIP.